Hello viewers, today we will be replacing the battery in my laptop. This is a Dell Latitude D630, open this up here. And um, these are really good machines, they're very well built, they last a long time. They're not particularly powerful, I think this one's only 2 gigahertz, And it's just the um, Intel Centrino Duo thing. It's got some low-end integrated NVIDIA graphics card in there. Came with Windows Vista. Um, but anyways, it's a good enough machine for most tasks that I do on here. You can, I've made videos on these things and you can do it, but it takes a long time to render. Um, not much else to say about it really, it's just a good quality overall laptop. But the battery is on its way out. I think this battery has been in here for about yeah, let's see where's the where's the product code on this thing? Okay, so this would be an interesting clip here. Actually, I'll just put this towel over here. Okay, so um, this battery has been in here for probably about three or four years now, and we're going to check the health on it. Now I've been getting warnings lately on, on Windows saying that I should replace the battery and I've noticed it's not holding for more than like an hour and it's supposed to hold for about four, or it used to anyways. So this is a power indicator here because this is a, I believe this is a genuine Dell battery and if you press it once it's supposed to tell you the current charge which is one out of five pippas. It's because I've been using it all day, or yesterday, whenever it was. Now if you press and hold it, it should flash the capacity of the battery, of the battery's health. And I don't believe that, because it's saying 5 peppers, which I believe is 80% or greater. I think um, 3 or less is 65%, something like that, I don't remember anymore. But whatever the health claim is, replacing it, because it's uh, not working very well so these are very easy to remove there's two clips here slide these clips uh, open now I said it was easy there we go and then you can just slide that forward and the battery is out um, so let's take a look at this battery here these are lithium-ion which I'm not a huge fan of but so this was in fact a Dell battery um, this is 85 watt hours. This is the 9 cell one that has this extra thing on there. There's also, I believe, a 6 cell one which doesn't have that. Of course, it doesn't last as long. This was made in uh, Korea. Of course, it was assembled in good old China. Um, not sure why it says Japan only. I don't know what that refers to. Um, Chong Queen. So anyways, that's the battery. I did get a new battery here. Um, I haven't opened it yet. This is the new battery. Um, I paid $15 for this. It's one of those knockoff ones. So it may stink, I have no idea. It had fairly good reviews, so for $15 I took a chance and got this one. It's actually a nice... Uh, anti-static bag. I don't ship a whole lot of computer parts, but I think I will definitely hold on to this one. So let's open this little before I turn on the video. Okay, so here's the new battery. And you can see it's a generic nonsense battery. Um, this one was supposed to be 85 watt hours. Um, now this is 7800 milliamps. I thought the conversion was just take off those two zeros and that's your number, but maybe it's not. Um, let's see, does this one have a milliamp? No, this just says watt hours. Um, well, anyways, 
even if it was 75 that's or 78 that's not a far cry from 85 so made in china very generic probably very dangerous it's got one of those lovely made in china stickers on it that falls off so we'll see how this does it's somewhat unsettling that's for sure um, looks like we have almost a full charge and I don't know if this does the capacity thing probably not yeah I don't think so it may just show the charge alright well let's stick this in here and uh, see what happens okay that seems to fit in there just fine So now, let's uh, turn it on. Well, that's a good sign. It actually seems to work. I think it has battery information in the BIOS. Oh, I missed it. Well, we'll go into one to seven and see if it uh, tells me anything about the battery. So, like I said, these aren't particularly fast machines, but they will get the job done just fine eventually. And maybe I'll cut this part out. Okay, this is all loaded up now for those that were interested. And here's a look at the graphics card. It is an NVIDIA Quadro N50. N50, what in the world? NVS 135M and then um, just doesn't say anything more specific about the processor um, one thing I noticed about this battery is that this part here is just like a hard plastic whereas on the Dell one it was like a almost like a soft rubber so I'm definitely thinking I like the Dell one better but the Dell one is like almost a hundred dollars and this one was fifteen so you know I can live with the plastic so let's take a look at the battery icon over here oh, I disabled the uh, battery health warning because it was driving me nuts okay so this seems like it's more normal than uh, or whatever this is why I don't do videos in the morning usually this one seems like it's operating more normally because you see it's at just over 50 percent and it's say just over two hours so if there was 100 percent probably say about four hours which is what I remember from the Dell battery so um, of course I haven't cycled it yet you know it's kind of charged up and discharged a few times before it'll reach full capacity so I'll do that and then we'll see what it says but for the moment it seems like it's working so there you have it that's the battery replacement in the Dell Latitude and I'll update this battery in a few months if it stops working or something